Avondale parents and families, Mr. Seal here. It's uh, been a couple weeks uh, since I've had an update on things going on here at the school. And this video will not be long, uh, but it's full of some really great information. Uh, first of all, uh, we have completed our uh, iReady diagnostic test for the winter. Uh, and basically iReady, if, if, I'm sure you've heard your kids talk about it and your teacher talk about it, uh, but um, it's, uh, it's an online uh, program and there's a program that is for kids to you know, do work on and learn that's matched up with their abilities. But then there are uh, three diagnostic tests we take. We take one in the fall, one in the winter, and one at the end of the year. And those are used to show growth. Um, so uh, it's really important that the kids uh, try hard on those tests so that we can get an accurate picture of how they're growing. And I am extremely happy to say that Avondale is taking care of business. Um, I mentioned back in the fall that our fall diagnostic test, uh, Avondale had the highest number of kids at or above grade level, highest percentage, not number, per percentage. Um, more than any schools, more than every school in the system except the magnets. Uh, that includes high schools, middle schools, all of them. And that was in reading and in math. Well, we nearly doubled um, our percentage numbers in reading and we did double them in math. And we still, outside of the magnet schools, have the highest percentage of students above, at or above grade level in both reading and math. Um, on top of that, we have the lowest percentages of the non-magnet schools of kids who are um, in the bottom category, who are uh, three or more grade levels behind. Um, and that's a, it's a pretty small percentage. But again, it's the smallest in both reading and math um, in the district um, outside of the magnet schools. And so um, that to me is worth celebrating. I think that is it because it not only shows that um, because if you only look at the fall diagnostic, then you, you could maybe explain that by saying, oh, well, um, you know, maybe we just have smarter kids or maybe we just have, uh, you know, um, a handful of kids who got lucky and guessed correctly. Mm. I don't, I don't really buy that anyway, but I guess, uh, uh, you know, some sort of naysayer, some sort of hater could say that. But you can't argue with that kind of growth when you are able to compare the exact same type of test from the winter to the one we took in the fall. Doubling our number of kids means that not only were we starting off strong, but we have continued to work hard. And even though we are not where we want to be, we are not. We've got, a, we've got work to do, and there's a lot of potential that we have not tapped into yet. Uh, the trend that we've got going on right now is upward and fantastic. Uh, I have gotten compliments from uh, Dr. Sullivan, gotten compliments from Dr. Dawson, who's head of academics, uh, my supervisor, Dr. Tillman, the instructional superintendent, all have commented um, on how impressed they are with what we're doing here at Avondale. And um, that's a team effort, and you're a part of that. Speaking of uh, Parents being a part of the success, I get a lot of parents who say, uh, hey, I'd like to be able to work with my kids at home and help them, but uh, you know, what's a good way for me to do that? Um, well, a lot, of your a lot of the teachers are gonna be communicating with parents in the next couple of weeks on ways in which you can help kids, uh, help your kids at home. And one of the things that we realized is that we needed to make sure that the help is something that is, um, uh, easy for working parents with not a ton of time, and in some cases, you know, more than one school-aged child, um, not too complicated. And I don't mean that as an insult. I just mean, like, it can't involve too many things to try to put together. And if, if it's complicated, then it's, especially with busy family schedules, it's hard to really get into. And that some resources and a lot, of, a lot of times resources need to be provided. Um, and so uh, be on the lookout. Uh, I've, I've got a lot of teachers in my building who are preparing to do some of that, to uh, send some stuff home. We're creating some challenges. We're getting ready for the big ACAP test uh, starting in April. That's the week of April 11th. We're going to be doing that. Um, and so that's only, that's only seven weeks away when you take out spring break. So we've got uh, we've, we've got some work to do, we've got some work to do. Uh, so we want to make sure that you are involved in it as well. 
Um, so uh, also another thing, uh, you're gonna your child is gonna be bringing home this flyer here. Um, school pictures will be taken on Wednesday, February 9th. Individual pictures will be taken and sibling pictures can be taken. Must have written request and permission from the parent by Monday, February 7th. And requests are given to Mrs. Woods, our bookkeeper in the office. She oversees picture day. Um, so I just wanted to pass that along. But again, this uh, your child will have one of these with them. So if you want the information, then it's right here. <clears throat> um, uh, here's something else that is positive news that I, I definitely want to pass along. You know, we uh, we at Avondale, we were hit. We've been hit by the COVID uh, bug uh, pretty hard in January. Um, we've had a lot of staff test positive um, and I tested positive. Uh, a lot of kids who have missed school either due to testing positive themselves or needing to quarantine uh, because of a parent or a sibling who tested positive. And so it's been it, it's it's been a challenge for everybody. I mean, all over the state, all over the country, obviously. Um, but I'm really happy to report that um, as far as staff are concerned, and I'm going to knock on wood here because I don't want to jinx it, but we have gone a full week now uh, without a teacher being out for COVID. Um, and uh, our numbers as far as kids testing positive, those numbers have started going down. I get a daily report from the nurse and um, the, the those emails are getting shorter and shorter. So um, obviously we there's there's no out of the woods to even discuss here, but um, I really think that some uh, rounds of applause need to go towards our custodians who have just doubled their efforts in sanitizing the school. Mr. Lowry gets here sometimes 6 a.m. He is sanitizing hallways, classrooms. Uh, all of our custodians, Ms. Brown and Ms. Cora, they are sanit they're sanitizing uh, handrails, doorknobs, those uh, things that tend to get a lot of, uh, a lot of hand traffic. And so we're doing all of that in the mornings and the afternoons. Uh, we've been, teachers have been great about, and students have been terrific about masks and teachers reminding students. When I remind students, you know, oh yes, sir, no problems. That has made a big difference as well. So I just wanted to pass that along so that you know that um, it is my belief that we are doing a lot of things right here at Avondale in terms of addressing uh, the, the COVID situation. And we're hoping that we are not part of the trend in Alabama that is continuing to show increased numbers. Ours are not showing that. And so uh, we, we just, I want, I want you as a parent to hear things and know things that's going on that will make you feel a lot more confident about your child being in the building. And so I definitely wanted to pass that along. Um, Probably a ton of other stuff I could talk about, but I don't. Uh, I, don't I want to keep this uh, a little shorter. So thanks again for all of your support. Uh, you can always email me if you have a question and uh, or a concern or anything like that. And uh, just be on the lookout for ways that you can help us soar. <laughs>